gate that says you're entering an entering Indian reservation. <laughs> Cowie Nation. George, you tell me she wasn't pretty. She's beautiful. <laughs> Hi, this is Keith. <laughs> <laughs> I had to mess with George. Oh my god. This goodness. is Vanessa. So. Beautiful. Well, thank you. So, so are he, you. He's got beehives. See him over there? Oh, the white? Yeah. What oh, do you got cute. with you, George? That's the new bike. Oh my god. Hey, George. I've never loved one of these. It's great. That's a clutch, that's a brake. Same as the other, but you just don't have to use a clutch for this. Because it's, um... I never rode one Yeah, it's got the reflu. Oh, yeah, right. That's the fastest bike I've ever been on, dude. <laughs> I told you it was. 65 horsepower and it ain't but 220 pounds, so. <laughs> <laughs> My God. We're gonna be you you. No, I let him ride it. Oh. But I can see the yellow mist behind the bike where he was peeing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, he's videoing. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be showing that at work. This is George's new girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. All right, George. Cool. So, guys, we have a sniper here today. What do you work for, Clayton County, George? Co College Park. Okay. College Park. Um, he's a SWAT operator, and we're going to let him shoot the FX Impact. This is the first time he's ever shot one of these things. So. Yeah, I'm used to something that goes bang. <laughs> <laughs> All right, George. Let me set this up. All right. Hopefully, it'll it'll read this. Whoa! I'll just point it at kind of like the 25 yard line. So hopefully that'll work. Okay. Now, yeah. Listen. Now I'll push it. The arm. It. I think. Okay. Okay. It's ready to go. Hopefully it'll it'll read. All right. We'll find out. I'm, I got it pointing towards the 25 yard one. All right. Nothing. Damn. So that one actually has to have some bang. It looks like it might one. have to. I think, well, they've got something for it, like for archery and stuff like that. <laughs> All right, try it again. Wait a minute, wait a minute, let me see. Okay. Okay, it's armed. Okay. You ready, bro? Yeah. No, nope, I'm gonna have to call him and find out. It's not working. It's all right. Dang, man. Everybody's been wanting to know how fast this stock gun well, is shooting. Yeah, they've got it for archery too. I mean I can put it on maybe on the archery mode. I don't know. But that's what a buddy of mine told me, and I'd never, because everything I've got goes bang, so. Yeah, the velocity, and it's not showing anything. Let's pause. Let me go back into this. But hey, George, you will notice that those two holes are in the same hole. Yeah. Wait a minute, hey, it did read. 929 feet a second. Oh, good. Yeah, I'll be damned. I don't you know, know why it didn't show up, but it did. I've there been telling everybody about 900. Yep, 929. Cool. I'll be damned, so it did work. I don't, Very I don't know why it didn't show up. Oh, I know that's why, because it, but it normally it reads it, then it goes away, but it, 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 it got it. You guys were shooting some 50 grain JSBs I guess I'm gonna be doing a lot of editing, George, the way you're doing this. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, it's 929 feet per second. Okay. Let's 
So there, that's 929. It's reading. So whenever you're ready, we can do it again. Okay. Well, it's good to know that it read it. I guess it's loud enough to where it. Well, it, 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 did, it did. looks fancy yeah. enough to read yeah. it. How much was that thing? God. They're about five, six hundred bucks. I thought it was as much as this gun. No. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. I don't know, can't remember what you gotta do to make it show that I'll have to read the instructions again how to get it to read the energy. Okay. You ready, Joy? Should have learned how to use this again. It's been a while since I used it. So we didn't get a reading on that last shot, George. No. So, hey, I'm going to get some paint and put some dots on these targets oh. while well, you're playing with that. Same thing. George, are we sure this thing is reading correctly? Yep. 929 exactly every time? Maybe not. Yeah, I've only seen one. So it only read it once. I don't know why. Sorry, I don't know what's what's going on. Maybe put this up a little bit closer. Here. You wanna try it? Okay, try it one more time. I think it read it that time. Nope, it's, it's only showing one shot. Dang go it. Do the lab radar. This is gonna be my auxiliary battery. So George, what are you trying to say here? I'm saying your gun is so quiet that it won't set the lab radar off. And it, they're showing here that you got to have a microphone to uh, get it to trigger the lab radar because this thing's about as quiet, loud as a flea fart. <laughs> <laughs> so they're used to something that makes a lot of noise and this gun makes about noise of a fleas fart so <laughs> they, they're showing right here that you got to have a, a microphone and I'd heard something about it but it's the first time I've ever had to deal with this so I'll have to get one because I got suppressed rifles too so it, 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 it'll say it helps it with read through with suppressed rifles as well so cool. it's good to know just learn something so George, have you ever in your life shot a PCP air rifle? No. Are you kidding? What do you, what do you think about this first focal plane scope? I don't like them, but some people do. I mean, a lot of the guys that shoot PRS like them for long range shooting and stuff, but for law enforcement, it's a big no, no, but there's a reason for that because most of our shootings are at night. So, um, so we all use second focal plane scopes for law enforcement sniping. Right. I mean, they're great for competition shooters and great for military snipers, but for police snipers, we're, we're shooting within 100 yards. We have no need for it. All right, well, George, I'm going to let you shoot this thing. Okay, let me try this thing one more time. Oh, you're going to try it again? I'm going to put it right... Let me lower this thing way down. Put it right in front That's of the barrel. That's what I'm going to do. So I can what? shoot it. <laughs> oh, 
that's about as low as it'll go. Okay, so let's get it right. Right there. Center. Read it. Okay. Okay, try it again. Wait a minute. I can't get it out any further. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me see if I can turn this and get it a little bit closer. Running out of table. Yeah. I can back up. I just want to get it right. Okay. Let's try that. I hope that's not in your way. Mm, that's good. Let me, let me point that a little bit right there towards the target. Okay. All right. Let's try it again. Now this thing is actually shooting low with what I have dialed mm -hmm. in right here because I'm shooting a heavier grain pellet than okay. I usually do, which is a 50 grain. Still nothing. It's too quiet. Okay. So we gotta get it. We'll have to get that thing, and I'll come back down. I'll get one of those microphones. But I'm I'm, I'm gonna need it for my suppressed guns too. So it's no okay. Idea. All right, George. So I'll just turn this off. All right, get over here, George. Hey, George, are you familiar with these dials? You know this this one. I know you're a sniper, but I'm just saying. That's gonna, your focus. Yeah. yeah. So look, let me get you on about 60 out there and see how you. That's the furthest one out. Oh, that's the furthest one out. Yeah, it's Around probably going to shoot low for you, though. All right. <clears throat> shot low but now I know what let me see okay I see which one to put it on all right I'm gonna give you a little video there yep that's perfect there but it's shooting for some reason a little bit I guess cuz the wind yeah to the left yeah it's the wind is right to left at the moment brother okay. Okay, I know what to do. Dead center of the red ball. Oh. <laughs> the little red dot. Now, why did my GoPro on the gun just go off? I don't know. Because I had it charged last night. Let's see. I can't tell if it's... Just above it, but right above the red dot. This is pretty cool. I like this. Let's see, George. I mean, I'm trying to see. Okay, yeah, we're... Same hole. We're recording, so that's good. I don't know what that thing was beeping about. Yeah, this is way cool. Same hole. Same place. Same place. Very cool. I just shot about a dime sized group. <laughs> so you Once think I got you figured could, uh, out where, where to put all the different lines for the hold off and everything because the wind, because we got a pretty good little breeze here. So, yeah. Wow, that sucker uh -oh. really is accurate. I'm trying to put the phone back in the. <laughs> How much money did you pay for this? George. Money is no object when it comes to killing squirrels. I know, but I'm, I'm talking about for me, I wanted, I wanted to get one. Oh, you're going to get your one now. Thank well, they God. Well, they don't let us shoot guns in friggin' city of South Fulton anymore. Oh. So do you think you could use this on a sniper event? <laughs> you ever want to shoot somebody and then let them know I did it <laughs> until he just dropped? Where'd that come from? Uh, good. We're not recording, are we? Yeah, oh. do you, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Shoot, shoot a little high, so about a quarter inch high. Dead center. So I'll just say at six o'clock. That little dot. Ah, got it. Now 
George, one thing I need to tell Before you the wind is, is picked up. try not to move anything but your finger. Wind's got it, it's shooting a little to the left again, so I'm going <laughs> to hold off one more dot. Too much. Got it. You know, if you would buy one of these, George, we could start a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Uh oh. I guess You're done. Wow, that is way cool. And it's like no recoil either. How much money are these? Well, they're just a little over two, which is nothing for a man like you. Snipers make a lot of money. Yeah, right. You oh, just then put it, one then it in, then you it. can okay. just load them up. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them pellets were expensive. Not if you know me. Hmm. Get him at a My brother was asking about one of these because he wants one for over North Carolina and he's got lots of money too. Because I told him, I said, you got the best one there is, they're made in Sweden. I couldn't remember the name of it, but I told him about it. But I'll have to take a picture and send it to him. Well, he can just watch a YouTube video. Okay. What's your Because you're going to be on what's there, your, brother. What's, your what's the name of your YouTube? FX Pest Operator. Okay. And I named it after you because you're a SWAT operator. Oh, okay. That thing's cool. I like this. How many shots do you get out of a top of a refill? Um, I could probably shoot this thing 80. 80 wow, that's a lot. Inch. Yeah, I mean. On a, just a one shot. I never even think now, about that. How many that, times really? can you fill that with that before, because you, have most to, of the before time, you have to blow that up? Um, I, I don't even keep up. When it starts getting down around 2,000 or whatever, I'll go ahead and hook it up. So if that. I get one, then you can oh, fill I've my got tank the, for I've me. I've already got the compressor. Well, that's what I'm so. saying. I knew you had that, but you'd fill oh, mine. Oh, you need that bottle. You'll be able to fill mine up for me? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep, it's just shooting a tad bit high. But I got the wind, it's perfect. So let me aim at 6 o'clock on the dots. You drilled it. Drilled it. A little high again. It just it's still in the they're all touching each other. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Hey, George. Yep. Do you see those numbers I put on all of the targets? Yep. Try not to shoot them off, all right? Oh, my God. I'll put one right between the zero and the 60, just for you, knucklehead. That took me all day yesterday putting those on. Welding them, painting them, putting the numbers on. Here you are probably going to shoot one of them accidentally. No, being a I'm, not that, I'm not that dumb. <laughs> Exactly you know, George, I have to tell something on myself here. I, I welded all of them on there and painted them, put the numbers on, went out there to drive them in. <laughs> One of them fell off. Oh, no. I tack welded it, you know? Not, so it, it wasn't very good. It was only, <laughs> it was kind of tacky. <laughs> Got it. Got 
got it. Boy, this thing is stupid accurate. Got it. Got it. It's dead on. Got it, dead center. And, have to and the wind just picked up, dude. Yeah, I didn't have to hold it at six o'clock on this one. It's right on at one. Got it again. Wow. Yeah, the first shot was at six o'clock and all the other ones are been right in the little red, red thing, dot. Yep. Wow, this thing is stupid accurate. Oh, out. Having too much fun. <laughs> Let me show these guys my my numbers I put on here. That's pretty nice. And yeah, at least now of, I can That's one of the nicest little target ranges I've seen in the backyard I've ever. I ain't never seen this nice one. Nice I'm glad you came today, George. Yeah, I've had a good time. This is a impressive little rifle. So Very you think you're getting you one, buddy? I'm gonna have to have to get me one of these. <laughs> the only problem is that I hate to wait nine months to get it from Sweden. I know. Now, how long did it take you to get yours? It was several months. I remember you waiting on it forever. Yeah. Um, Nobody actually, keeps them in stock, huh? I thought it might be the reason was because of COVID or something, but it really probably takes that long. So, <laughs> so I really had to wait. Slow boat from Sweden. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right, guys. George is going to talk to you about this gun. Yeah, I'm real impressed with it. No recoil. Super quiet and crazy accurate. Can't ask me better than that. It shoots as good as any of my sniper rifles. So, think you got to have one, Joy? Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to have one. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only reason I was worried about this falling off is the time that you helped me and my dad load them telephone poles. Oh my God! And they fell off. <laughs> no, the trailer came off the hook, off the ball, cause somebody put the wrong ball on it or something. I think your dad or you, or you tried to blame your dad for it. Poor, <laughs> poor Mr. <laughs> Cook. He gets thrown under the bus. Oh my goodness. We didn't hardly get like 200 yards yeah, away. Yeah, you called me and told me that thing had done come off and I couldn't believe it. Oh. 